this took a while but these are all the daily journals that I did for 2021. Um, I started daily journaling like mid June 2020 so um, 2021 is actually the first year that I have a full year of daily journals. Yeah, this is just um, a flip through of everything that I did for one whole year. Um, compared to 2020's journaling, it's still quite similar to the style that I do currently. But uh, basically 2021 is the first year that I did all my journaling in this A6 ring binder style of journal. Yeah, I really do enjoy using this, so this is what I'm going to continue using for my daily journal in 2022 as well. I did sort of consider maybe switching over to like a Midori MD or like a book type journal, but I really like the freedom of having the binder refills because I can just take them out anytime to write on them and decorate so like when it, they get super thick I don't have to worry about it being hard to write on At the beginning of the year, I wasn't really working yet, so I didn't have much going on but also I could kind of do more stuff, like there was a lot of cafe hopping with my friends and um, my YouTube was also a bit more active in the first half of the year. Like recently because of work, I haven't been able to edit as many videos as I'd like. I mean, this video is coming out basically nearer to the middle of January than the end of December when it should have. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy it because I do really like flipping through all my old journals as well, especially this one which is for January and February. I mean, I keep a journal because it helps me sort of remember what I did during the year. And looking at, back at this, it's like, so many things that I forgot and um, I try to keep my journal more of like a positive space for me so when there's like something not so positive that I still want to vent about I just like write them on a piece of paper and hide them in an envelope so it still looks good in my journal but at least I have a place to vent to my daily journaling I don't really have a like a definite style as you can see I sort of switch through um, a cuter sticker and washi tape spam or sometimes I use the more aesthetic style it's just whatever I feel like using during the day like if it's washi tape or if it's stickers or if it's a particular memo pad of course the days when I do hauls, that's when I have the most things and especially here, you can see that I also like to keep the name cards of artists that I buy from. If I do any blind boxes, I like to keep the box and circle which item I got. And when I can, I like to add in photos as well because uh, honestly when I like flip through and look back at stuff, I don't really read the words especially since they're kind of small and my handwriting is also kind of messy but I really like looking at all the photos that I've taken with my friends or at interesting places that I've been to
Sometimes the pages get stuck together. Honestly, I'm quite amazed at certain days how much I managed to write because back when I wasn't working, there were a lot of days that I really didn't do much in a day. I guess other than catching up on shows or reading stuff. I also used to keep more of my receipts. Recently, I don't really do that anymore. Yeah, but when I first started out, it was kind of a fun way to keep all these ephemera like tickets and receipts. But recently, it feels like I don't really do that anymore. I just use a lot of stickers. <laughs> staycation with my friends because it was her birthday and the staycation hotel actually gave us a birthday card but since we had two rooms and there were two birthday cards I just kept one to throw it here into my journal Compared to um, 2020, like I keep wanting to say last year, but last year was 2021. So um, compared to 2020, I think my journaling style is a bit more consistent. I'll put a link to my previous flip through. But in 2020, I was using just random ring bound notebooks that I got for free like many years ago. So I also didn't I just started out in journaling and I didn't really know what my style was. So the first two or three months, I didn't really like how a lot of the pages turned out. Also that was back when I didn't have as much stationery as I have now. So I mean, I definitely prefer most, most of the spreads that I did this year. I mean especially as we go along, there'll be some days where it's not very decorated or the decoration is not as cohesive but I think because it's all in the A6 ring binder format I just like how it all looks together Also around this time I did a lot of uh, stationary exchanges with people overseas so that was really fun and it's also how I have been accumulating a lot of stationery in my collection. Uh, recently I don't do it as often because I don't have as much time to look for these kinds of things but that was really fun. It's just fun to receive stuff in the mail in general especially when it's sort of like a mystery because when I did trades I would just tell people to send me whatever they felt like sending. It's just fun to open a letter and not exactly know what is inside.
really miss going to like fun character cafes and like just doing a quick vlog and journal, a journal with me video. Recently there haven't been any really nice character cafes in my country and yeah anyway I've been kind of busy so I haven't really gone out to do much during the weekends and even if I did uh, I have so too many video backlogs to clear that I'm not sure when I would be able to post it anyway. I think right now I have like two or three videos that I'm in the midst of editing. Other than just like buying stickers and memo pads from like online shops or from local artists, I was actually also hoping to make my own and sell them. But uh, ever since work started, I haven't really had the time to do a lot of drawing or extra social media stuff. But uh, this purple memo pad at the top is one that I drew with a friend so that was really fun and also some of the stickers I think it's, it's really fun to draw stickers and mail pads and even washi to use but just all the posting on social media is kind of tiring and This like sticker club thing was the first sort of it wasn't exactly through Patreon, but um, I signed up to this little happy mail thing with a local artist and it's just fun to receive like one or two stickers every month and sometimes there was a postcard. I just, you know, I really love receiving snail mail in general, which is why I used to be very into pen pelling as well. I do still keep up with the few that I have right now but I haven't opened to new friends in quite a while because uh, yeah, as usual there really isn't that much extra time. This one is quite thick because uh, September is basically my birthday month so yeah for the first half of September especially I have a lot of extra ephemera just stuck into the journal and for the whole of September I used this pink grid K6 refills I really like the look of it but I'm not really a huge fan of the grid paper. Like if you look at my spreads, actually I usually just use the dot grid refills. So I'm not going to really buy this anymore. Also the holes were kind of punched a bit near to the edge of the paper. So in a few of these pages, like one or two of the holes have already broken. So that's kind of sad. So these two labels are from beers that I bought obviously for the packaging but also because the flavours looked interesting uh, but they did not taste good at all. <laughs> And yeah, here you can see we finally reached um, my first day of work.
Um, on this day, I received a big package of makeup from this brand that I really like. So of course, I stuck some of the packaging in here. And they also gave like a sheet of stickers and I just basically used them all on this spread. Like doing little like flat extensions in case there are days that I want to write a bit more or add more photos. Uh, and I was really looking forward to the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl but <laughs> once I got it, I didn't really have a lot of time to play so I've only passed like maybe the first batch. And I'm also really looking forward to the new game. Well, it looks really interesting, like slightly different from the usual gameplay. This was from a tarot card Kickstarter that I did in 2020 and I was so glad to finally receive the package. Everything was just so beautiful. I don't really use tarot cards, I just really like this illustrator's artwork. This is basically the last journal for the year. You can see it's kind of the thinnest because when I flip through you'll see how many days I actually missed for my so-called <laughs> daily journaling. And for November I set myself uh, a challenge to finally use more of my like vintage aesthetic stationery stuff and not just all the cutesy stuff because when I was repacking my stationery I realized I had so many of them that I hadn't used so I thought I would just try to use them for a whole month. And yeah, you can see there are some blank pages here because I held off journaling for so long that I totally forgot what I did on those days, so I just decided to skip it. And sometimes I just combine days, like this is basically three days worth of daily journaling onto just a two-page spread. So yeah, that was November. It was a fun challenge, but I really missed using my cute stickers towards the end there. So I was glad when it was finally December. Oh, and I really love this little balloon in my journal. It was an event for Olivia Rodrigo's Sour album. I didn't do anything very impressive. It was just a short little promo event for some merch giveaway, but it's the most interesting project I've done at work so far. I got to go down just to check it out so and yeah, it was fun. It was fun and I really like balloons so I got it and I kept it. It was a helium balloon so it was really fun while it lasted, but at the end of the day I decided to just pop it so that I could keep it in my journal. This was another one where I combined two days into one. This was not me missing a day, but uh, I guess I was kind of distracted when I was journaling because I accidentally put the next day on the wrong page. And I kind of meant to go back to just decorate that page, but uh, I didn't, so it's another blank page in my journal. So for Christmas, my office gave me this really cute soap. It's like apple scented. Using it as a decoration for now, but I'll just probably actually use the soap eventually. I don't really celebrate Christmas. I just celebrate um, New Year's Eve with my friends. So I don't have a lot of like Christmas presents or anything. But yeah, that's the end of my daily journal. So recently I've been 
using a planner and I usually put like a Polaroid at the front for every month. I've been deciding that at the end of the month, I'll just stick this Polaroid onto the back of my journal instead so that uh, the next month I can change it to a different Polaroid image. Yep, so that's all the daily journals. Honestly, I'm amazed at how much I managed to write, even if it wasn't exactly every day. Uh, hopefully, I can keep this up for another year. And these are the other journals, planners, stuff that I use occasionally. Uh, so first is my tea log. I recently started really getting into tea because uh, some of my pen pals like sending me little samples. So I decided to just keep a little log. Here are some of the places that I buy my tea from, mostly because the packaging of their teas is cute. These two little cards I got from my tea order, so I decided to just stick them in here. Although I usually prefer to just drink hot tea because um, brewing cold tea is kind of a pain <laughs> since it takes a bit longer. Yeah, so I just stick the packaging in here because most of them are really cute. Like half the time I buy the tea for the packaging. I mean, also because the taste looks interesting, but like 60% because the packaging is cute. And I try to not do so much decoration in this because it's more of like a record keeping thing for me. Like to keep track of which teas I really enjoy or which ones I got from my pen pals and stuff like that. So on one page I'll stick the packaging, outer packaging for the tea and then on the other page I'll like write my thoughts and sort of a just a mini rating and whether I would drink this tea again and sometimes I'll just put a little washi tape that matches the packaging design but that's the most decoration that I really do in this. of my teas here in my room because a lot of them are samples that I got from my friends and this is a little like habit tracker notebook I got this from a friend in the middle of the year and it looked really cute and really interesting so I guess I thought I would use it just for fun because also I find tracking things interesting like statistics wise just to see how I've done over the year. So these are just some examples that we gave in the book. And I tried using this just to keep track of like my productivity, how much I do every day. Especially since at the start of the year I was a freelancer so I wanted to keep track of how much work I was doing. In a month. And then I thought I might as well also keep track of my social media and stuff. Um, but as it goes on, you'll see that I started posting less and less, especially with my TikTok. It was like really fun for one or two months and then I totally stopped.
and so November, October when I was working especially, there's not a lot. I, November when I basically gave up on tracking my TikTok because I decided I wasn't really gonna post there enough to keep track. Yeah, there wasn't much else I was doing other than work. So, as you can see, December was totally blank and I decided um, I really didn't want to bother tracking stuff anymore. So I'm not sure what I'll be doing with this, if there's anything else that I really want to track. So this is the Hobonichi wigs that I kept as a food diary. I managed to fill up most of it, so mostly I bought it because I really like this design, especially the cloth texture cover. Yeah. So the food diary was just an excuse to get this Hobonichi. It's the first Hobonichi I've ever used and I basically decided I don't really like the paper. Because I can only use um, ballpoint pens on it. But yeah, basically, I was tracking what I ate in a day, more or less. And on the right, I would have photos of the nicer things that I ate in a week and then just little comments next to them. And I just um, decorated it with a lot of little stickers. Like some weeks when there wasn't anything interesting, I just stuck even more foot stickers on the right. Yeah, so it's really fun once it's done and I can like flip through and see all the photos and all the decorations that I did. But after a while, it quite quickly became a bit of a hassle to maintain this. Especially having to print out all the photos on the right. I didn't have my Canon selfie back then. And the photo printer was also a bit of a hassle. So I would just print photos like every two or three weeks. And then as you can see after a while I just totally stopped doing that and like I stopped writing all the captions yeah. and this is just me so after this basically I didn't do much I just tracked all the food occasionally there's a photo and then after a while even the stickers disappeared <laughs> and I was just writing down mostly because I wanted to uh, make sure I wasn't snacking too much because I was working from home and freelancing and sometimes I just, you know, when you're bored, you just grab a quick snack and I didn't want to eat too much in a day but uh, as you can see, this is when I started work and I totally gave up on this diary so that's when I stopped and yeah, after this it's just all blank I was also sort of keeping track of um, interesting cafes to visit at the back of this since there was all these empty spaces and because I was thinking that it would be fun to vlog going to different cafes so I would post like photos and like why I wanted to go to those cafes I did manage to go to a few on this list but uh, recently not so much I do still want to go to some of these though. Yeah, so that's all for this. I'm definitely not doing this again in 2021, but it was fun while it lasted. So this is a Sumiko Gurashi A6 ring binder. If you watched my January 2021 video, this was what I was hoping to use as my daily journal. 
but then since I only had one of this, I really wanted my journals to be uniform so I switched to the clear binders instead that I could just decorate myself. So this one, I made it sort of movie and TV shows binder. As you can see here, some stuff that I wanted to journal about but I never ended up journaling since they are still listed on the front here. I didn't end up really feeling a lot of this. So most of these entries are basically from really early in the year. Uh, around January, I watched Bridgerton. So I decided to just journal about it. I really enjoyed it at the time, but I think right now it's okay. I'm not sure if I will continue to watch season 2 onwards, but um, it was really fun while, while I was watching it. So yeah, there's only one entry in this and these are for movies. It also ended up only being one entry. I think I only have like one entry for each category that I put here. So yeah, I watched Raya in cinemas with my friends. Uh, it was okay. I'm not sure if that's a controversial opinion but it was just fine. I definitely enjoy other movies more. I really would like to keep up this journaling, especially for like animated movies where I can write stuff like this. Like the animation parts that I enjoyed watching because that is really what I watch a lot of these animated movies for. But it's also really hard to just keep up with all my hobbies. I was gonna make a separate like Disney Plus movie section in here but I never finished it in the end. Like, I think I was thinking of doing one of those 30 days of Disney movies challenges but uh, I only watched the movies and I never ended up journaling about it. <laughs> I also decided to make an anime section with only one entry. I don't watch as much anime as I used to but uh, because Netflix does have some so recently I have binged certain series. I mean I like watching anime in general but recently a lot of the stuff that I watch is stuff that I watch while doing work so if it's not English audio I can't watch a lot of it and I don't really watch dubs so I do still want to keep this if I have time to journal more because I really like doing this kind of journaling when I have the time. Okay, this is probably the most empty one. This is my reading journal that I was continuing from last year. I mean from 2020. Yeah. So 2020 I was um, tracking how much I read every month. For 2021 I decided to consolidated them all into one list which is good because I ended up only reading like one book <laughs> and like a bit of two books but basically I only read one book last year and that was <laughs> all the way in January so yeah this is my sad little <laughs> reading list I do still want to continue it this year so yeah, I'll just add on. So this book I use to keep track of all the washi tape that I have. Like I'll just do a swatch of every one that I get just to sort of keep a record. But 
Usually, I also keep the little stickers at the end and I write down uh, like where and when I got each washi tape. Sometimes I get swatches from my pen pals and yeah, I put them here as well and I write down who they were from. So I didn't count exactly, so I'm not sure how much I accumulated this year. Um, I'm not going to do like a whole collection video like I did for 2020. But I guess there's still quite a lot. Recently, I've not been as much into collecting washi tape. Um, if you see a lot of my recent hauls, it's mostly stickers. So I think this year, there won't be as much washi swatches as I had in 2020 or 2021. Still a lot of space left in this notebook, so yeah, I'll just make a new cover for 2022 and just continue from there. These are all the journals for this year. A whole year's worth. And also there's this, which I didn't count in my official sort of journal collection. But uh, it's a floating journal that I've been exchanging with my friends for the whole year. I will have a video dedicated just to this, so yeah, look out for it if you're interested. 